DM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all! Wow your friend! Hey craft friends, I have a neat one for you today. Now you know in Tilescapes how we kind of define the space by the fronts or by kind of the doors and archways and the, the kind of accoutrement that we put on the edge of the tile, right? As opposed to with 2.5D where you have the whole thing edged with just a very small flat wall. In Tilescapes, it's more, there's more 3D elements that are kind of around the tile. Well, one way you can kind of enhance that is to make these tall uh, vaulted uh, archways that I'm gonna show you, that I, the doorway archways that I made for this castle setup. And it really gives a sense that the, that the ceiling is really high and not just a small door that you're coming through. So let's hit the table and I'll show you these cool uh, vaulted archways. Hey guys, here's an arch I found online and I'm just, I just scaled it uh, so it's two inches tall by three inches wide. I put it on some uh, cardstock and now I'm going to cut it out, just glued it on some cardstock with some white glue. Now I'm going to use it as a template on my dollar store foam core. I'm going to draw out the arch and then I'll just cut it out with a sharp X-Acto. Make sure you use a sharp X-Acto, uh, otherwise it'll tear up the paper. So there we go, just cut that out. And you can always save your pieces for other projects. All right, cool. Now I'm going to use that it, that itself as a template and uh, draw on there. And then I'm going to just kind of draw an edge uh, on it um, about a quarter of an inch wide or less than a half, maybe a centimeter wide. And I'll just cut that out. So now I've got two other arches to go on top of the initial one. And uh, it really gives that gothic style there. I'll just glue that right on there. Pull the paper off. And uh, glue it right on. Just left the paper on the second arch. And there we go. Nice. All right, cool. I wanted to make some cool pillars, so I used some thin cardboard. And I scored the corrugation inside. Uh, so I'd have six equal facets. And it could bend up very easily. And that'll make a perfect pillar. So I'm going to glue along the edge with my hot glue. And then just glue it together and look, I got a nice thin pillar. It's three and a half inches uh, tall. There we go, cool. Now I'm going to use some cardstock that I pre-measured and got to put it around the edge, the top and bottom edge. Nice, very cool. Do the same to the bottom. Now I've got a piece of, uh, more piece of foam core and it's an inch wide and I've got a strip here. And I didn't really measure because I want to see how wide it is because I want to have two inches uh, before the other pillar starts. So I just thought I'd just do it on the fly here. And then I'll just cut the end. Cool. So it ends up being about uh, three and a half inches wide. So now I'm going to use the, uh, the foam core is very flimsy. So I'm going to use some thin cardboard to put on the bottom. That'll strengthen it up. So very cool. There we go. And the reason I wanted to use the foam core is I want to put some detail on the base here with some stonework. So you've seen me do this before, just press the ballpoint pen right into the foam core and you get a really nice uh, details there. Very cool. Now I'm going to use the carving tool to push in a little bit more. Get some deeper, deeper detail. All right, cool. Now I'm going to do a nice trick here. I'm going to use this sand and uh, pour it in. You see how how flimsy this is, how it falls over so easily because there's no weight. Well, I'm going to put some sand about a third of the way into the pillar itself. And that'll give it some nice weight so it won't be so uh, easy to knock over. So now look at that. Very cool. Very neat little trick. So I'll just put some hot glue in there. That'll keep it in place. Very cool. All right, now for the arch, I'm going to do some detail on that. So I'm just pressing in with my ballpoint pen. And I want to get kind of the brickwork on here. Just easy enough to do. Very nice. 
go around do it all. I'm going to use my carving tool just to press in a little bit more. Accent those a little more. Very cool. Now I'm going to cover up the pillars with these uh, wooden discs. I had these. You could just cut uh, circles if you wanted, but I had these discs, so I'm going to use them. So let's put hot glue on there. And then I'll glue the top of the arch. And wow, that just looks so cool. And we just made it all out of junk. Where do we paint it? Okay, I black bombed it, and I've got my kind of stone kit here. I've got uh, my gray, my coffee, and my uh, burnt sienna. And I'll start with the gray. Make sure you get on all those cracks because there's a lot of different moving parts. Move it around. You know, there's a lot of different angles and facets. You know, move this around. Make sure you get everywhere. And then I'll put the other colors on, the burnt sienna and the coffee. And then I'll give it a nice uh, variation of stone color so you're not just one color. And looking great. Really looking good. Wow, that's really popping out. Now I'm going to use my light gray and watch how this just pops out the detail. Get those edges, uh, the edges of the pillars. Wow, look at that. That's really bringing life to that. So very cool. Hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, let's hit the table and uh, see what it looks like on the table. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Here we have a flyby. You can see our traditional uh, tilescape set up in there. There's, there's the arch and the, the pillar doorway. And I think it's just really nice. It really gives a sense of height to the space. So there you go. Let's look at it a little closer here. So I'll pull it off the wall here. And I just really like the details, that uh, gothic arch, the pillars, uh, the floor itself, and the weight really helps to, it to stand up and not knock over. And the height is just really cool. I really like it. And just all, this was just made out of a bunch of junk. I think it really came out nice for just being made out of junk. It looks uh, much better than, it looks much uh, more interesting than the things it was made out of. Hello there, friend. Make sure to give your DM Scotty a like if you do like the video. Also, check out the Facebook group and forum. They are lots of nice people there. Give your DM Scotty a dollar to buy a coffee so he can keep making videos at a hyper speed. Also, if you like to like this Scotty, then join the Patreon and you get Crafters Lair. It has extra content for you and you can be happy for the rest of your life watching Crafters Lair and have fun. Hoot! Who goes there? It is I, Roderick, Slayer of Orcs, friend to the city. And who are you? My name is Helga Hornblower. I guard the gate. Oh, yes, I see. You are a very strapping young woman. I like your girth. We thank you, there, Ranger. I really like your axe also. It's nice and sharp. Me too. <laughs> oh, and I like your blonde hair. Mmm, they're yeah, very nice. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> Long, just like yours. Mmm, perhaps we should meet later for some libations. Mmm, <laughs> yes, why wait? Okay. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is Roderick. Oh, yeah, Roderick likes that. Oh, yeah. Oh, go, Hornblower. Woo-hoo. Woo! -hoo. Woo.